What it do? Hey. TMG gang. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good hey. afternoon. Yeah, so I have been talking about this updated question and answer video to my husband for a week now. And so we finally got time to sit down and answer some questions. So that's what we're gonna do. You ready? We're ready. Are you ready for these ready. questions? Are you ready? Are you ready? When you, when you stay I, ready, you ain't gotta get I ready. I am always ready. ready. When you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. All right. So let's see. How did y'all meet? Well, shout out to my brother Sat Brando. I was, it was a rough time for me. My I was my mom was in, about to pass away and. He asked me to go to the bar. At first, I was like, nah, man, I'm cool, I'm cool, man. After like four times, he's like, man, there's gonna be some chicks there. I'm like, well, let's go. So I was dancing in the cage, you know, getting my boogie on. <laughs> Hours that went past, you know what I'm saying? You know, she said she seen me. I did, I saw him walk in, um, and he just illuminated, he illuminated, and he walked right past me, and we didn't say nothing to each other until I saw him dance in the cage. And I told him, Zap was like, we need to get down or something. And I was like, oh no, you can stay up there. And then the next thing I knew, he was right beside me like this. And Shoot we just started, shot. yeah, we just started to talk. And then one thing led after the other and here we are. So, so it yes. So like my angel foe landing on the heart <laughs> but um yeah so so now we are married if you guys did not yeah. know we are married yeah, she married got that water. she got that water out of her and we have been together for going on 11 months this month so yes all right so this is that brand though man the whole he already said that me me. oh okay <laughs> But yeah, big my homie up. All right, let's see. Are y'all coffee drinkers? And if so, what is your favorite coffee drink? Well, wifey is a coffee drinker. I have my days. She like her Stokes coffee. Shout out to Stokes Coffee here in the 740 area. Um, yeah, they are a home-based business and their coffee is delicious. So, stoked, I get a white, a frozen white mocha, um... It's their signature. Is it their yeah, signature they, drink? They told me that when I went there, oh. it's called a Stoked Signature. Oh, okay. Well, it's a white mocha, mocha. frozen yeah. and it, I get the caramel drizzle, drizzle and the whipped cream. Actually, that sounds really good right now. Anyways. Yeah, they are really good. It tastes like ice cream to me. Yeah, Babe's really not a coffee drinker, but he'll drink some of whatever I have. So, <laughs> who said I love you first? I did. Because I did, man. It was like, it said when you know you you, you found her, the right one. You, you know. Would know. You know. I knew you know. the moment I laid eyes on her, I heard this soft voice say, no, baby, you stay right there. And I turned around. Over all this music, commotion, clubs packed, I turn around and I was just like starstruck. starstruck. But you know, I pulled up on her, you know what I'm saying? And I delivered, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I chased her down, I called her every day, I called her every night. He pursued me. Phone. He pursued me, ladies. You, know you are not to pursue the man, the man is supposed to pursue you. So. I was always taught if you want something, go get it. I wasn't letting up. And she was talking to somebody else at the time. I was. And I ain't stopped me. No. Nope. And look where I'm at. Nah. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> Play with it. In my nigga E voice. <laughs> How old are you? Who? Us. Who asked that? It doesn't well, matter who asked I'm 35, it. man. And I will be 27 in January. So, yeah, so that's I'm a, a Jaguar. Good eight, eight years. A little bit, but I think that's I think that is a good um, age range. Um, so yeah, let's see. What is your favorite quality or characteristic that the other has that you love? You want me to answer this first? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll answer it. 
So I answer after you ask. Okay. Um. So quality or characteristic? Well, he has many, but what really stands out to me is the way that he carries himself. The way he carries himself. The way that he is. Um. He has a lot of perseverance. Um, he is a go-getter, so what he sees and what he wants, like he said, he goes and gets it. So that that um, really like comes up every day on an everyday basis that he's persevering through whatever we have going on, our personal lives, our um, family, our work, our church our church family anything he just really perseveres and i love it because a man with perseverance you, you nothing can you can't you can't go wrong with that can you no but i love his nose and his eyes i am a chocolate brown eye lover um but yes he is beautiful handsome beautifully <laughs> handsome <laughs> you are cool a whole lot of, a whole lot of, a whole lot of, lot of, really. That's <laughs> right. It's your beauty, not your booty. <laughs> oh, man. No, okay, so, uh, things that I like the most about my wife is, uh, how she big me up on everything, even when I feel discouraged. She's like, it's just like, oh, babe, well, you know, we're a big boy, you know. I love that, man. I love that she, uh, she motivate me to do better and chase dreams. And uh, I love that uh, she's so caring and loving, you know what I'm saying? Understanding. Uh, I love that she's beautiful. He's very understanding too. He is very um, understanding. Um, mm. <laughs> I love that uh, no matter what, we can get through whatever together. We just talk and everything's out and move forward. I can say this is one of the most honest relationships I have ever been in and I am I feel the most free and so that's very comforting. Yeah, I keep it a buck with her all the time. I, I do too. He made it through the hardest times when you don't even want to I want, even, you know, like the other day the other morning I woke up and I was like, babe, I said babe, do you do you dream about Erica ever? And he was like, well, what made you say that or whatever? And I said, well, I've, I've dreamed about my ex-husband, Zach, for the last two nights, but it's nothing, you know what I'm saying? But like, it's something that within me that was like, oh, you don't need to tell him this because, you know, there, it's irrelevant or whatever, or it might look like you're guilty or whatever, but I'm not guilty for anything. Like, just being, like, honest with little like little things like that because... Honesty is key. Loyalty is everything. Death before dishonor. Honesty and is respect. key. Respect. Communication. Um, yeah, but... I'm really happy with my relationship with this man and Me our too. relationship I with the Lord. I wouldn't have put a ring on it. I wouldn't have had it no other way. And I wouldn't have said yes. Uh, if y'all know me, you guys kind of know a little bit about my testimony. But anyways, since we're gonna, we're getting into that, it says, can you share a little bit about your testimony in two minutes or less? You want me to go first on this one? Sure, go ahead, babe. All right, uh... Well, I was born in 1995, uh, I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio, born and raised. Uh, I come from a very bad area where it's high on drugs, murder, uh, robberies, kidnap, uh, just the whole nine, you know what I'm saying, when you're growing up in poverty. Uh, I've been shot, I've had home invasions happen to me. Uh, I was a drug seller and I ended up eventually started using cocaine and uh, just living a party life, you know what I'm saying? We was getting a lot of money. We was, lot, we was young and we was just enjoying life. We had a care in the world. So, uh, yeah, I come from a very dark place and I just thank God that I'm here and I'm alive and I'm able to share my life with you, you guys and my wife. She knows everything about me. There's nothing a person can walk up to her and say about me that she don't know already. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you hate us? It ain't gonna work, but yeah. 
Um, that's just a little bit about me. I was raised by a single mother. Um, she's no longer with us, but she's she's with us. Um, one of the best in the city. Everybody loved her. Uh, she was very caring and loving. And, uh, she did the best way she can, raising six kids. I'm the oldest boy. And uh, we've been through a lot together. Uh, I can go on for days. So I'm Which stay soon. tuned because there will be series to our testimonies. We're just going to give you guys a little bit right now because, um, well, we just don't, we don't need to share it all right now. So um, that concludes your little two minute. Okay, so I was born in 94 and I was born in Dallas, Texas. Um, my family moved to Ohio when I was four and I've been here ever since. Well, not really. Um, I've moved to other places, but I can say that I was raised in Ohio. Um, I'm, uh, my bloodline goes really far with um, things of the Lord, um, a godly bloodline I do come from. Um, so I grew up in a spirit-filled church um, going to church every Sunday, every Wednesday, we were at church for conferences, you know, whatever, we were always there. Um, and then about 14 or 13 or 14, I just started to rebel, you know, what teenagers do, you know, you start trying to do your own thing and whatnot. So um, I just started rebelling from the Lord and, you know, going, going away from Him, um, started partying, you know, just drinking alcohol and smoking a little weed or whatever here and there and then and then I met my ex-husband in um, school and we had my son Ryan at 17 and then we got married and um, long story short divorce um, but yeah so um, I'm just glad that the Lord has brought me back to um, him and yeah. and being um, brought back to him brought me a man of God who I am dearly in love with and would lay down my life for him. But that's just a little bit of our testimony. Come back if you want to hear more because there will be more. a series to this testimonial sure. stuff because everybody's testimony needs to be heard. Um, every testimony can relate and help somebody what with what they're going through or what they're in currently or whatever so it says um you are an overcomer by the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony so each time you give your testimony guys you overcome what you came from and the devil cannot um cannot have any place in that we definitely come to two from two different worlds two different mm. families uh, always knew of God and my mother, and my sister Ella, uh, shout out my sister Pumpkin, aka Ella, Mrs. Jackson. Sister Pumpkin. Uh, shout out my sister Peaches. Peaches, Peaches. was born to the streets like we were, me and my brother Dewan. And uh, as of when I got older, uh, old enough to make my own decisions, I didn't feel like church was for me for a very long time. I only went to churches for funerals. And that was it. I've never been to a wedding. So the first wedding I've ever been to was mine. <laughs> it's sad to say, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, I always believed that it was a higher power. But where I'm from, it's a lot of pastors and stuff that I couldn't relate to because whatever they was doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to get into that, but um, false prophets yeah. is all we have to say. So. God have brought me a lot closer. I had to go into the world and stand on my own by myself, my own ten toes, by myself, and figure things out. Um, where did I want to be? Who did I want to be? And, and what I was trying to be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and he definitely did that. And I wasn't looking for no girl or anything at the time we met. Uh, I, I was it. single for two years. I was, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I was bouncing around, moving from state to state. Uh, I know that there a little bit everywhere up the East Coast. Uh, had a lot of female friends, and I told them that's all it was, you know what I'm saying? They complied, and, and when God wanted me 
to find my wife, he brought her to me, and that's how it happened, gang. All right. Great testimony time, babe. Okay. And I have a question from my mother that she wanted us to answer because we are this. So. Shout out Mama Rebecca. Yes. Mama, and Papa Nick, Papa Buddy, the whole gang. Yes. Uh, it says, describe what a millennial means to us. So, because we are millennials. I'm not. Yes, you are. You are. You are a millennial. I wasn't born in 2000. You are a millennial. No. Then I'm what are you? baby. The last of the dying breed. I don't know what they talking what, about. What? Anyways, <laughs> he said that he was a millennial the other day, but I guess he's not a millennial now. I, mean, I don't know if he's millennial or compared not. Compared to mom anyways, and them, yeah. No, you have to know. What, All right, I'm a millennium, I guess. Millennium. Whatever. A millennial. A millennial. Anyways, um, yeah, so a millennial is... I'm 26, so anywhere from my my age to my age. I think his age. I think he is millennial. We could be wrong, but don't hold us to that. don't hold us to that. But anyways, um, yeah. So I actually had this on my phone that I screenshotted. So I'm gonna stop this real quick and look at that, and then come back. So. This is what I have looked up. Um, there are two types of millennials, says a generational expert, millennials and megalennials. The two parts of the generation are defined respectively by two different life paths. One group is moving forward professionally and financially while the other feels like their life has stagnated. Millennials feel behind in their career and finances as they struggle with student loan debt and fallout of the recession. Megalennials are more ahead and don't identify with the negative stereotypes associated with their generation. So we are megalennials, regardless. Mega nigga nose, whatever. <laughs> Mega nigga nose. Mega. Mega. Millennials. Millennials. <laughs> Mega videos. Uh, yeah. Any <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Mega, mega, <laughs> mega millennials. Mega millennials. Um, I would definitely say that we are more focused, uh, more ahead, uh, more focused on business um, driven type thing professionally and financially are, are, oh, let me do it. My phone's about to die, but anyways. So what, in the comment section, put, what, are, what you? are you? Are you a millennial or a megalennial? Or what generation um, are you stamped with? And let us know how you feel and about us, those millennials. Yes, let us know what's, let us know. Just comment, like, share, comment, down comment down below. like, share, ring that bell. Make sure you get notified when we have a new video coming up. Because you don't want to miss out. You don't want to miss out because things are happening in our world and we are excited. So anyways, that concludes our question and answer for now. So anyways, we love y'all. We will see you soon. Stay tuned, TKG gang. Mm -hmm.